Hey, Tony here. Today I want to show you my recommendations for some of the greatest Western films that I have in my collection. So stick around. So during the month of January, Ken over at Mid-Level Media is having a Western type month for January to where you can watch some Western films and post it on your Instagram page or on your YouTube channel. So today I wanted to take time to show you the Western films that I would recommend that you check out. Now I have already begun watching some of these Western films um, during the month of January. So be paying attention to my Instagram page, which I have linked below so that you can see what I've been watching. Um, but I do want to just randomly show you some of the films that I really enjoy, some of the Western films I have in my collection. So these are not all of the films that I have in the collection, but I do want to kind of highlight these. Um, first up, we have 310 to Yuma. Um, this is the 4K release. I really do um, enjoy this remake. Um, I kind of enjoy the remake a little bit more than the original, but the original is great. We do have the original in the Criterion Collection, um, which I do enjoy both. But if you really like some more action, um, then I would highly recommend that you check out this, um, the remake for 310 to Yuma. Okay, next up is one of my favorites. It's Hell or High Water. Now, I know a lot of people probably wouldn't consider this a Western. I would say that it's mo mostly a modern day Western. You know, you do have a robbery, you have brothers fighting, um, different things, different elements from that you would typically see in a Western film. So definitely check out Hell or High Water if you've never seen it. Another great modern day Western is uh, The Magnificent Seven. I really do enjoy this film. I did just recently watch this one yesterday. I always enjoy a rewatch of this one. There are a lot of good actors, a lot of good action um, sequences, um, comedic moments. So I really did enjoy this one. So definitely check out The Magnificent Seven. Another great one is The Quick and the Dead. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen this one. I do want to revisit this one during the month of January. So I will be checking out The Quick and the Dead. Okay, next up we have The Revenant. I really do enjoy this film um, with Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hardy. Um, this right here is a good, I would consider it a Western because of the, the time period that it is in. Um, but a very good story. Very, very visual. Um, definitely recommend checking this one out on 4K. This is the 4K release with a Blu-ray slipcover. And then we have The Unforgiven with Clint Eastwood. I really do enjoy um, this movie. Clint Eastwood is one of the greatest actors in my opinion. Okay, next up we have The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly with Clint Eastwood. Um, this is the 4K release. I did watch this one here a few months ago. Really enjoyed it. Um, definitely check out The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. It is a long one, so be ready for a long run time. Okay, we have Charles Bronson in Cato's Land. Um, this right here also has Jack Palance in it. We have Clint Eastwood in High Plains Drifter. And we also have Clint Eastwood in Two Mules for Sister Sarah with Shirley MacLaine. And then we have this one called Trackdown, and it's got Eric Estrada in it. We have um, Charles Bronson in The Valdez Horses. Another Clint, um, another Clint Eastwood film, Coogan's Bluff. We got this great film, um, Stranger on the Run. I need to revisit this one. It's been a long time since I've seen it with Henry Fonda. And we have Vera Cruz. And then we have this Criterion release for Destry Rides again. I really did enjoy this one. I watched this one when it was first released. Very fun movie with um, uh, Marlene Dietrich and James Stewart. Another great one is 40 Guns. Um, this is a Samuel Fuller film with um, Barbara Stanwyck. I really did enjoy this one. It's a really good Western um, with a female lead. And then we have another one here with Barbara Stanwyck in it, um, The Furies. Um, I'm really happy to have that one in the collection. It's been a very long time since I've seen that one. And it is in a nice packaging from the Criterion Collection, which I haven't broke open yet. Another great film that I watched here recently was The Gunfighter with Gregory Peck. Definitely check this one out. This is one of my favorites. I really enjoyed this one. We have Jubal. I um, really need to revisit this one. It's been a while since I've seen this one. We have McCabe and Mrs. Miller. I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out again. Okay, we have One-Eyed Jacks with Marlon Brando. Um, 
I don't remember if I've seen this one yet or not. I know that I haven't seen this particular release, um, but I think I've seen this one in the past. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out again. And then lastly, we have Red River. This is another one that I need to break open that I haven't seen in a very long time. Um, but definitely looking forward to checking that one out. So there are a lot of great titles here for the Western theme month of January. Um, definitely check out these Criterion collections. Um, these Kino Lorber titles are always good. Um, but yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular releases. Maybe give me some recommendations of some that I didn't show that I should try to watch during the month of January. I really do enjoy reading your recommendations and your comments. So I will be doing a video at the end of the month of January to show you what all I've watched during the month. And also pay attention to my Instagram page. That's where I'll be posting daily what Western movies I've been watching. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me in my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.